So the DJI Neo 2, uh, yeah, this tiny drone's been stirring up a lot of curiosity lately. Uh, DJI's basically taken their fun, beginner-friendly Neo and turned it into something a lot more capable. Um, it's still compact and easy to fly, but now it feels like a proper little filmmaker's tool. Uh, let's start with the part everyone cares about, the camera. Uh, the Neo 2 reportedly jumps to a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, which is a pretty big deal for a drone this size. It's the same sensor that DJI used in the Avada 2, which means sharper detail, better dynamic range, and cleaner low light shots. Some leaks even claim up to 13.5 stops of dynamic range, so you can expect smoother gradients and richer tones when shooting outdoors at sunrise or sunset. And the video capabilities, you're looking at 4K 60fps with 10-bit HDR and D-Log-M support. That's professional grade color flexibility packed into a palm-sized body, so even if you're color grading later, your footage won't fall apart. It's, a, it's the kind of setup that makes casual vlog footage look cinematic. Now, stabilization. That's where DJI's clearly been listening to feedback. The first Neo had a simple one-axis gimbal, which meant your footage could wobble around a bit, but the Neo 2 steps it up with a two-axis mechanical gimbal, handling both tilt and roll, and layers Rocksteady EIS on top of that. So even when you're cruising through wind or making quick pans, the video stays buttery smooth. And speaking of wind, DJI's tuned this drone for level 5 wind resistance, with a top speed of around 16 meters per second, or about 58 kilometers per hour. Um, it's not just a calm day toy anymore, it's built to handle tougher conditions, but one of the biggest complaints about the first Neo was the noise. While its measured decibel level might be comparable to some other small drones, the specific high frequency pitch is what makes it highly noticeable and irritating. Thankfully, the Neo 2's got redesigned propellers, and they're said to make it noticeably quieter and more efficient in flight. So you'll actually hear the ambient sounds around you, not just, not just the buzzing. Now, here's something clever DJI's done. The battery sits on top of the drone this time. It's a small design change, but it helps with balance and accessibility. The new Intelligent Flight battery is rated around 1,600 milliamp hour, slightly larger than before, which should give you up to 19 minutes of flight time in ideal conditions. Not groundbreaking, but definitely an improvement for a compact drone. And when it's time to recharge, you can use the two-way USB-C charging hub. It supports 18 watt PD charging, powers up three batteries in sequence, and even doubles as a power bank for your phone or controller. That's the kind of small convenience that makes a big difference when you're out shooting all day. The Neo 2 is also keeping DJI's signature ease of use features that made the first model so friendly, stuff like gesture and voice control, palm takeoff and landing, and of course the fun quick shot modes, follow, circle, droney, expanse, and more. But this time, the AI tracking and flight path detection are reportedly smarter, more accurate, and smoother to use, ideal for solo creators who don't want to constantly adjust their controller mid-shot. Let's talk connectivity. The Neo 2 supports OcuSync 4, but here's the interesting part. It's done through a plug-in transceiver module. Out of the box, it flies over Wi-Fi, which is fine for short-range clips, but once you attach that OcuSync module, you unlock up to around 10 kilometers of transmission distance with low latency, plus compatibility with DJI's FPV goggles and RC controllers. But if you buy the drone alone, it'll likely cost about $59 extra. Not bad considering it completely changes the flying experience. A few leaked images also show a tiny LED display on the front of the drone. It might show battery status or connection info, which is super handy when you're doing quick flights without constantly checking your phone screen. Now, about safety, several leaks suggest 360 degree obstacle sensing might be coming to the Neo 2. That's a huge step up from the basic sensors on the original. Some sources even hint at the use of LiDAR or IR sensors. A recent leak from Jasper Ellens actually clears that up. It looks like DJI is giving the Neo 2 proper front-facing sensing tech for better depth awareness and collision avoidance, which should make low altitude or indoor flights a lot safer. And thankfully, DJI isn't introducing any new apps to control it. Everything runs through the familiar DJI Fly app, same as the Mini and Avada series. You'll have access to calibration, firmware updates, live HD view, quick shot setups, active track, and even beginner tutorials all in one place. So if you've used a DJI drone before, you'll feel right at home here. Now let's talk money, because DJI is offering multiple bundles depending on how you plan to fly. The Neo 2 starts at $259, 
239 euros or 209 pounds. You get the drone, one battery, propellers, gimbal protector, screwdriver, and cables, just the basics. The Flymore combo, priced around $429, 399 euros or 349 pounds, adds the RCN3 controller, two batteries, the charging hub, and extra accessories, perfect if you want traditional stick control. And then there's the Motion Fly More combo for about $599, 579 euros or 509 pounds. This one includes the DJI Goggles 3 and the RC Motion 3 controller, so you can experience full FPV style flying straight out of the box. It's pretty much the immersive experience package. A quick note about availability. According to Jasper Ellens via Drone XL, DJI is going for a China first release. The global launch is reportedly planned for mid-November, around November 13th, but the initial rollout will focus on the Chinese market. Apparently DJI is playing it safe this year because of ongoing US restrictions and global market instability. Rolling out a product worldwide at once can be risky and expensive, so this phased release makes sense. Up until now, every teaser, poster, and test unit leak has come straight out of China, which adds up. Now when you think about what this drone offers, compact size, quiet design, better stabilization, long range OQ-Sync 4, and a solid camera, it's clear DJI is not treating the Neo 2 as just a toy. Um, it's a small, smart, creator-ready drone that fits between the playful Spark days and the polished mini-series. Sure, there are still a few unknowns, like real-world flight time versus the claimed 19 minutes, how well the camera handles low light and more, but from what's been leaked so far, the Neo 2 feels like one of DJI's smartest refreshes in a while. Small, accessible, but way more capable than it looks. So what do you think? Is the Neo 2 the perfect pocket-sized upgrade for vloggers and travelers, or are you holding out for DJI Avada 3? Let me know in the comments. Peace.